The east side home of a self-described avid gun collector was burglarized, and now dozens of stolen guns are on the street. Neighbors say the man's collection had been targeted and hit before. Derek Thomas is live outside our Monument Circle studio with more on the story, Derek. Well, now the victim is 48-year-old Lawrence Borden Ketcher. He's a truck driver. He's on the road a lot, and that's where he was when thieves broke in. There is plastic now covering the hole where thieves hurled a landscaping brick through the sliding glass door to get access to the house. The bandits kicked in the door to a locked upstairs bedroom where the gun collection was kept. According to police, the theft victim had an incomplete list of model and serial numbers for the stolen weapons. We do know that there was an M1, a 1903 Springfield, a SKS, and a Russian Nagent rifle. The suspects made their getaway on a red moped. Raylon Lockhart's nine-year-old daughter witnessed the departure. She thinks she did. I mean, unfortunately, you know, I mean, kids play outside and they just happen to see somebody with a gun. So, did she think that he pointed it at her? Well, yeah, that's what she told. That's what she told us. Yeah. Neighbors are a bit taken aback by the break-in. They did not realize the amount of weapons inside the house. I got one. So, I mean, I don't have 50, but I, I got a gun. Well, know? is it comforting to know that a guy across the street had 50 guns? You know, if that's what he does, I, I'm not sure why, but, you know, I, I don't knock people. You know, he, he must have had a reason. A 13-year-old girl who lives a half a block away found one of the weapons underneath a large pine tree in her backyard. Police confirmed it was one of the guns stolen in the burglary. Officers are on patrol in the area, keeping watch for clues. If you have any information on this case, you are encouraged to call Crime Stoppers at 262-TIPS. Live downtown, Derek Thomas, RTV6.